Hello, today I'll be showing you how to use our Story V2 pack in After Effects and Premiere Pro. Here we have a standard vertical composition and to apply a template you just need to navigate to the Motion Deck extension window, find a template you want, and click apply. After a short load it will appear on the timeline and you can begin to edit it. To begin editing, double click the template to open it, highlight the customizer layer, then in the effect controls panel you'll find multiple options for customizing the template. You can change the colors, enable or disable certain effects, and modify the parameters of certain effects. If you want to customize the text, just highlight the text layer you want to change and modify it to whatever you need. To replace the background image, open the placeholder precomp, highlight the layer that says replace me, hold down the alt key, then drag and drop the image you want to replace it with onto the layer. Next, you can scale and reposition this image so that it fits the composition properly and when you go back to the main composition, the image will be added. Now you have this custom story composition made in After Effects. Next, we'll look at how to use the Story Pack in Premiere Pro. To import a template, navigate to the Motion Duck extension window, find the template you want, and double click or drag and drop it onto the timeline to apply it. After a short load, the template will appear on the timeline, and to edit it, highlight the template, then click the Customizer button on the Motion Duck extension window. Here is a menu of all the same options you had in After Effects for editing the different parts of the template, as well as a separate menu where you can edit any of the text. To replace the placeholder image, open the Essential Graphics window, click the drop-down for placeholders, click the button to the right of Media Placeholder, choose Replace from Explorer, and then choose the image that you want. It will automatically replace the placeholder, and then you have options to reposition it so that it fits your composition properly. Now you know how to use the Story V2 pack in After Effects and Premiere Pro.